Hey, it's Liz. Here I am, cutting up Raphael's School of Athens. If you're unfamiliar, this is one of the frescoes that Raphael was painting right around the same time and very near to Michelangelo while he was painting the Sistine Chapel ceilings. So one of the reasons why I love this painting so much is that I was introduced to it by a music video. So if you're unfamiliar with me, then you will be not that interested to know that I am obsessed with music videos and have been my whole life because I'm a child of the MTV generation. But this is about how the video for Alt-J's Tessellate, now I would never call myself an Alt-J fan, but the Tessellate video and the song are just absolutely incredible. But because it's the video itself is based on this painting. The director modernized it by including newer people and kind of just, you know, he did a really great job of making it relevant for 2014 or whenever that video was released. But I wanted to give it a whirl myself because this, and I went for this one first because the Sistine Chapel images that I have are huge and I know I do not at this time have the uh, capability to time lapse a piece of art that big. So one of the things people like about this painting the most is that it's kind of split into four quadrants. On the bottom left is basically mostly about Plato and how he's mostly concerned with things in the heavens. Mind you, I'm regurgitating things I just watched on the YouTube videos about this painting. And then on the bottom right is, it's mostly about Aristotle, who's there in the middle next to Plato. And Aristotle was more concerned with things going on on Earth, you know, Earth science and stuff. So, and then the top is just that amazing, beautiful arch, which... I will, we'll, you'll see if I decide to cut it up or not. I mean, it's so, it's got to be so hard to recreate that perfect arch, which I might do at some point, but I often real, once I get to this point in the collage, I realize that if I start putting down larger pieces, then the collage will be done faster. So it's an interesting, uh, weird collage, fun thing there. So if you're unfamiliar with what I've been doing lately, I've been cutting up Salvador Dali images for my MF Dali project because I really just wanted to learn what it takes, what makes a masterpiece, and then to reassemble a masterpiece my own weird way and see if it's still a masterpiece. But basically the whole thing is just about learning and... I've learned so much about collage and about history and about the art world while I've been doing this project. And I plan on running with it for a while because I've learned so much. I cannot stop. So I am so excited to see what I make next and learn what else there is to learn. So if you were inter if you like this, please let me know. I've never done this before. I'm experimenting with ways to make YouTube videos without showing my face on YouTube, but I'll probably be doing that soon. But yeah, let me know what you think about this collage, and if you have any ideas about what I should cut up next, but I really appreciate your support. Thank you so much for watching, and for listening to me talk about my art. I appreciate you.